Please state your name for the record. Nick S. And in order to credential yourself, about how many burgers would you say you've consumed in your lifetime? Let's see, I'm 32. Average. Ah, one a week. Ah, probably like uh, 1,500. That's actually some decent math, assuming you didn't have burgers in the first year of your life. There was a chicken sandwich phase where that's all I ate, so that's going to subtract a little bit from it. All right. Uh, now, which burger are you reviewing today? Uh, this was Golden State's The Burger. Is that what it was called? I think it was just, yeah, The Burger. The Hamburger? Uh, their beef burger. They had a veggie one, a lamb one. This is their beef burger. Uh, before we really start, do you have any unprompted thoughts or musings on this particular burger? Uh, let me see. Let me check my notes. I took notes. I came prepared. Uh, any musings? Uh, the place was cool. Cool decor. It was great. It looked cool. Uh, a lot of young people around there. I wanted to like it. Maybe that's spoiler alerting you to what's to come. Uh, but I like the art on the wall. That was good. All right. Um, how would you compare the taste and flavor profile of this burger to previous burgers that you've consumed? Uh, I would say what flavor, uh, what taste profile. There was no taste. So, uh, yeah. There was zero taste. All right. How would you judge the uh, meat to bun to fixin ratio? They got that right. Uh, it was a good round burger with a good round bun. It matched perfectly. It worked. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how would you describe the cook of the burger? Uh, it was great. We ordered medium. I feel like it came out medium. Just what I ordered. The cook right. was fine. The cook was good. How about the structural integrity of the burger? Well, another thing they got right. It was uh, perfectly put together. Fine architecture on this burger. It, it stayed together despite some potentially compromising arugula. Uh, it could have slid off. The top bun could have slid off, but it didn't. It stayed together. It had one little pin in it. One little, what do you call those things? Toothpicks? Sure, toothpick. Yeah. Held it together, great. Good structural integrity. 10 out of 10. All right. Uh, how do you describe the mouthfeel of the burger? Uh, it was kind of soft and mushy. Uh, not a lot of texture to it. Not a lot of layers. It just kind of all melded together in this gray matter of lack of flavor. You've kind of already talked about this, uh, but we definitely have to dive uh -huh. into it. Uh, were there any flavors that you felt were lost or underutilized in the burger? All of them. All of the flavors were underutilized. There was none. All right. Uh, as far as the establishment, how do you like the vibe and aesthetic of the cafe? You meant, answered that already. Really. Great vibes, good art, high ceilings, bad food. All right. And any final thoughts? Oh, uh, the French fries? Solid. Okay. Yeah. Well, they got the flavor of the french fries. Yeah. That's where it was all hiding. Good crispiness. Great french fries. Uh, arugula, the new lettuce, yes or no? Uh, no, screw arugula. Okay. It sucks. Thank you very much.